statement, our songs, and this is very important, especially for the Generation Church, and I hope very soon for the entire body of Christ. If there's one aspect where meditation has not entered, it's in our songs. There is no session in church where we meditate. And yet, this is one of the most powerful tools for transformation. Is that correct? No session in the average church where we meditate. Thank God for testimony time. Because with testimony time, they can engage your mind, right? That's why faith can arise. Pictures are painted. The person comes, she's crying. I came here looking for you, baby. I've waited for 60 years. Oh, you need me, ma. Oh, you need Something is happening to you. I was sitting on your chair there. How do understand what I'm talking about? So, the whole service, if it will transform you, the meditation will be inside it. There will be elements of it. It's engaging you. But I'm saying now, there's no time where believers sit down and just think. It's only the Catholic Church that is still doing it. Who is hearing what I'm saying? It's only Catholic Church. And they will sit down and just reflect, just think about your life. Nobody's thinking. If you think more, you will hear more. <laughs> Maybe pastors are afraid that the meeting will be boring. But we are not growing deep people. Shallow, shallow, shallow. Because you are talking more than you are listening. It was a funny way God taught me this. 2013, I think, yes. Or 2012, one of those two years. I was speaking in tongues. I think it was this by the time. As I entered Chapel Resurrection, went to the back. And I heard him very softly, shut up. Shut up. You foul devil. In the name of Jesus, I declare, shut up. The Prince of Peace spoke the shut up. I felt the peace, shut up. I said, Lord, is it you? Is there any issue? Oh, no problem. Because they say, shut up. So I shut up. I was humbled. So I sat down. I can still see myself. Very early in the morning, 5.30 a.m., I sat down on one of the trees. So in the meeting between the less important and the more important, who does the talking? the less informed and the more informed who should be talking who should be talking imagine your lecturer comes and sits down and everybody's talking to him about the the course content they are all teaching him teaching him teaching him say, mm, mm, mm. so as you have said get ready for exams <laughs> But 400 people will shut up Why one person is talking. Because he is what? More informed. You don't know, have any idea how important thinking is a part of prayer. I heard Masbrou say this. He said his prayer is 55, 50 minutes meditation, 10 minutes praying. That one shocked me. Because if you know me, you know my roots. <laughs> I say, which kind of 12 hours charge would that be? <laughs> that would be very difficult to adopt. But that's his quiet time, which makes sense. He said he will, if he has one hour to pray, he will spend. Who has seen that video before? You saw it, right? I mean, it's this day. 15 minutes. He said what? No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. 50 minutes. He was speaking about a one-hour session. He said he would rather use 50 minutes to meditate than 10 minutes to pray. 
Instead of arguing with him, look at his results. That's where you start from, all right? Before you start getting confused, look at his results. Look at your results. Look at his results. Look at your results. You like his results or you like your results? I like his results. Okay. <laughs> Let me try it out. All right? Life is not confusing. Just try and understand where it's going with that. So you can add it to what you have. Are you following what I'm saying? Before I say, ah, this is not what I know. This is, what, this, is, this is what I know from when I was born. Meditation is that important. And it should be a part of our services, a part of our singing, and so on and so forth. I'm saying this because going forward, it will not just be praise and worship session. We will also have what? Eh, meditation sessions. Because we are doers of the word. Is that correct? <laughs> meditation involves confessions. Repeated. Badging your consciousness. I said I'm full of power for four hours. 2014. 2015. I spoke it for four hours. Then I entered inside to go and raise my hand, raise my face so that I can go for the meeting. I came out and I spoke it one more time. I'm full of power. The ball blew. Poof. I said, Jesus. <laughs> ah, I'm full of power. <laughs> the ground was a hard ground. That's why I did that. And I don't like to fail. And they look as if this meeting, they will be looking at me, I'll be looking at them. So I said, let me go the hardcore way. So I started preparing. I started painting the picture. I kid you not, I did not lead a single prayer in that meeting. I didn't even introduce a single message or sermon. I entered and started speaking in tongues. They were arriving and meeting me and praying. Demons started screaming. People started getting out. That's the Holy Ghost. Not a single introduction of the service. The power was waiting for them. As they entered, like that. Everybody just came in and had sense. They would first sit down, look around. I've been seeing them looking around. Like, ah, everybody's serious. I'm telling you, one by one. I can still remember. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to God. Declare my life has changed. Life has changed. Today is my day. Today is my, day. My, shift is happening now. my shift is happening now. Nations are coming to my light. Kings to the brightness of my rising. Glory to God.